we could have stayed there for one month or three years, they weren't going to be able to do anything. But they left. And when they left, there was a vacuum. And then they came in and filled the vacuum. And whoever thought of this, a five-year-old would have said the military goes out last. And that's what they wanted. They couldn't believe they were leaving. So it was gross incompetence. And I hate to talk about it on this day, but people are saying, why are they talking about what the hell we did? So I think you're going to be very happy. Mr. President? Yes, please. Right here. How are you? It's a truly an honor to uh, Thank you. My honor. Can I speak on behalf of guy, huh? of, you know, my, my family? Well. <laughs> uh, I got a question for you. Yes. Uh, if, you know, elected again, you know, which, you know, we strongly hope that, you know, you are, would you strongly consider uh, having um, days of recognition for the outstanding service of the men and women of police departments around the country? I would hope that I speak on behalf of, you know, the departments, uh, the entire country, if you would try and consider having more recognition for the outstanding achievements and accomplishments of police officers. You know, I think it's an incredible question, and you won't believe this. I've never been asked that question before, and it should be asked. Well, this is the first time for everything. This is the first time. <laughs> and, no, think of it. That's a great question. And yet, I've answered every question from her and from him, from everybody. So I guess my and question, not the really ruling. I like the seven. idea. Yes, I so think they deserve it. Remember, there's two types of considers in this world. There's consider, right. and there's strongly consider. So I'm respectfully asking Good. you to strongly consider. That. You have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> and isn't it amazing that nobody's ever? When I say question, nobody's ever brought that up. And when I see what they do and things that take place, you know, I was responsible for getting a lot of money billions of dollars for the victims. You remember the signing I had with the police department, the fire department, and many others. That was on my watch. I saw they, they were talking about it today, but they had nothing to do with it. I had. Nobody mentioned it. I have to mention it myself, but, you know, uh, we had some of the, I think one or two of the people right from your precinct were there. But we had a great ceremony in the Rose Garden, and uh, it was a massive amount of money for the victims and the families of people that died in the World Trade Center. I mean, it's hard to believe, right? But we, they were trying to get that for a long time, long before I was there, and I got it. And today they were talking about it, and nobody mentioned my name, and that's okay, because that's the way it is. You know, the other side was trying to take credit for it. They had nothing to do with it. So I just, uh, I think that's a really good point, and I like it, okay? Thank you Thank you. Much, Great question. Thank you. Thank you. Much. It's a r rare question that I haven't heard before, and that's one that I should have been Listen, hearing you know, a lot. Thank you thank so you. much. Great, Great thank question. You. Yes, please. Uh, no question, Mr. President. Just want to say thank you for coming down here. We all appreciate it. Well, I appreciate it, too. I appreciate you. Uh, you don't get enough credit. And you know the crime in New York, and you look at these cities, Chicago. Uh, I met with, I, I had a very strong conversation with Abdul. It's Abdul Ghani Karaka from, from uh, the Taliban. And I will tell you, we told him, and this is what you could do very easily in New York, we told him, if any American soldier, any American is killed, you're going to be hit harder than any country has ever been hit. And he understood that. We had a very good conversation. After that, it was a much easier conversation. And so we didn't lose one soldier in 18 months. And yet you look at these cities, and that's in Afghanistan. And yet you look at these cities where 88 people were shot in Chicago over a week. 88 people were shot. And Many people died, and the same thing here. And if they'd let you do your job, you could do this job very quickly. You'd do it very quickly. If they let you do this job, if they said, okay, it's time, we can't have this. We lost no soldier in Afghanistan for 18 months. Think of that, because of me, because of what I said to them. They respected it, nor would they have come in and do what they did. They wouldn't have even come close. And every time they did, we hit them with the planes. They didn't like our planes. Now they have our planes. How about that? <laughs> now they have the planes that we were using to hit them. Why the hell didn't we fly them out? Would have taken, send 200 pilots, fly them all out. It's a horrible thing that took place. A horrible, horrible thing. It's an embarrassment. And the likes of which our country has never been embarrassed before. We've never had anything like this happen. It looked like we retreated. It looked like we gave up. Like they used the word surrender. And we didn't surrender. Our people didn't surrender. And our soldiers sure as hell didn't surrender. And you never surrendered. You could straighten out this city 
If you had the proper leadership, you could straighten out this city in one week. And the incredible thing about you, you know who the bad guys are. Because you see them and you get taunted by them. I know what happens, they taunt you. And you're not allowed to do anything. You have to sit back and take it. Now, in the old days, when I was growing up in Brooklyn and Queens, they didn't have to take that. They didn't. They were tough guys, but no tougher than you. The, the advantage you have is you know who the bad ones are. And you could stop it so fast if they'd let you, but they don't want to do that. And so you have these crime statistics that are crazy. I mean, the only one they go after is uh, Republicans or me. They go after me. <laughs> the prosecutors go after me. Did he do a deal 20 years ago? It's a disgrace. But if you murder somebody, no problem. And then the no-cash bail has to be killing you guys. Well, you have the no-cash bail. It's, uh, it's a disaster. If they would let you do your job with guys like this, if they would let you do your job, you would have it cleaned up. And don't nod, because if you do nod, you'll get in trouble, OK? I want you to <laughs> so just stand and just be perfect. Don't nod. But if they let you do your job, you wouldn't have crime in New York. You wouldn't have crime in New York. So uh, I just want to thank you very much. Uh, you are incredible people. Uh, I want to thank you for that endorsement. That, that endorsement meant so much. Now, in all fairness, I don't think any police department anywhere endorsed the other guy. I think I get 90. I must have gotten close to 100 percent of the vote. I think close to 100 percent. There are a couple of strays everywhere. We're trying to figure out who they are, right? But we got the military. We did great with the military. We did incredible with police and fire. So I just want to thank you all. Yes, please. Uh, one more question, Mr. President. If you decide not to run for president, if you decide not to, would you consider running for mayor of New York City? Well, that's an interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. I tell you, we could straighten it. I'd say, fellas, good luck. Go to town. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be announcing in one week, there's no crime in this. <laughs> there's no crime. What the hell happened? I said, that was the easiest job I've ever. If this is, that would be such an easy job. But I appreciate that question. That's cool. If I give you even a positive, a little like jokingly, They'll say, Trump's running for mayor. <laughs> now, if they let you do your job, we're going to be very proud again. But it's very embarrassing for our city. It's hurting our city very badly. They talk about it all over the world, the crime. When you have uh, Antifa running down the streets and burning down your buildings and all of this, and they don't do anything about it, they can't, they can't go on for much longer. They can't. You are incredible men and women, and thank you all very much. I'm with you all the way. And uh, to answer your question, uh, the answer is yes. Thank you very okay? much, Mr. President. Good luck, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything from you? Yeah. Come on, we're not catching anything. We do. I'll come back and blame you. Folks, we have a couple of cameras here, so I'm going to point to the camera. Then we're going to take the pictures up, right? So here, can we can we get up here? I don't want to block it. Can we get up here? I'm so tired. Everybody, we're looking right here. We're looking right here. Right, good, Tony. Good. We're going to look at this camera right here. Great. All right. Great. Good. One more. That's good. One, two, three. Good. Anybody else? Right here. Right here. Make sure you get us in the back. <laughs> <laughs> right in the back. I may have. You know what? Let me do another one with some of the guys they can't see. Oh, yeah. So yeah, why don't yeah, we yeah. spread it? Because you got blocked out there at the end. I got a better respect for the ball. He's joking. <laughs> Make me nervous. <laughs> All right, guys, we're ready. All right, we're ready. Everybody, we're looking at this camera right here. We're looking right here. Where, where? Pay attention. We're looking here. All right. One, two, three. Good. Sure. All right, one more. Be too short, man. One, two, we have these guys over here. Mr. President, we're too short back here. <laughs> <laughs>
Come on, the short, the, the short ones get up here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting nervous. I am. I'm very nervous. Get in there, get in there, man. Come on, the short ones stay. Come on. Oh, wait, oh. Hey, hey, you hey, Elizabeth, get some selfies of us. Come on, let's go. Uh, Elizabeth, get some selfies. Hold on, get in front of the president. We're here. Let's go. All right, guys, ready? Here. I'll go. This is good. Come on, we're looking right here. We're so jealous. Sorry. Perfect. Good? All right. If I catch COVID, I'm blaming you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 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 I don't know. Okay. Right. We're going to bring you over. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.